What's good, tribe? It's energy. I'm back with another reading. In this reading, I'm going to be channeling the energy for what to expect for July of 2023. So this is going to be an overall expectation, what you're probably currently already in, because I have two cards here. I haven't even gotten to shuffle the cards and I already have messages coming through. So July seems to be a very hyperactive month for you. We're going to see what the universe has to say for you for the month of July. And already I'm picking up messages and I'm hearing that you're almost there, okay? You're literally almost there is what I'm getting. And almost there seems like some of you have made a leap and your leaps have been out of faith. And I'm hearing that you're almost there, meaning you've almost landed on the other side is what I'm getting, which means the shift is almost complete in your life energetically and also spiritually, this shift that you're going through, okay? We already have the, the card judgment here. We have five of swords here. So the conflict, the severing, um, it's almost over is what I'm getting. And that means that you are getting ready to land on the other side. And the other side is the side you've been looking into for quite some time. It's like you peeking into the curtains of your new life. Okay, some of you have been receiving glimpses of what this new life is. Some of you have been receiving glimpses of what you are, okay? How great you are, how amazing you are. And this has caused you to have to sever certain thoughts that you've had, certain thoughts of doubt, disbeliefs, and fears that you may have experienced. So if you guys are here, I'm gonna be channeling the energy for the month of July, 2023. We also have the luckiest day of the year which we will not have another day just like this until 888, which is next year. So 777 obviously is the number of luck where you've hit the jackpot. And it's no coincidence because this shift around this time in July is a very pivotal shift. We already have the judgment card. Okay, so I'm just seeing some bittersweet things like some of you are graduating in the sense of spiritually, like new things are here, new things are arriving and it's time to make room for these new things, these new people, all right? So I'm gonna be looking at your career, your love life in the month of July. If you're here, it's not by coincidence. Again, I don't believe you have to pick a deck for you to receive this message. If you're here, I believe that you are community. I believe that you are tribe. Um, you also have a new love coming in that you are manifesting, all right? We even have the judgment card, which is very rare to see the marriage on the judgment card. So. July seems to be bringing you a preview or a look beyond the curtains of your new life is what I'm getting. So we're going to be meeting for 777. There's only 77 places. So if you guys see the registration down below, feel free to save a seat for 777. If not, then I will see you guys in the next reading. If you guys are looking for personal readings or anything like that, you guys can just look at the bar down below or the description as well. We have caring connections. Okay, so that is true. You are manifesting caring connections. And again, it's causing the only thing for you is to make a decision on what you truly desire. What do you truly want? And we also have patience at the bottom of the deck. So the energy and the overall energy for July 2023, one more card. All tied up, broken heart. Okay, so there are some indecisions here and some decisions that have to be made. And what I'm picking up is that the decision is to really choose yourself, okay? To choose yourself and to choose what you truly desire because this choosing of yourself is also attracting other people who choose you as well. Other people who have balance in choosing themselves, other people who love themselves as well. It's a different type of connection that is coming in in your friendships all right, I just spoke on this in the live. Some of you, you have relatives, but you don't feel like you relate, okay? Are you a role mate or are you a soul mate? Meaning your, your role mates are your parents, your siblings, mentors, whatever that role is that we give to that person. If we remove the label, if we remove that role, do you still feel like you have a connection? Some of these connections are based off of roles. I'm just doing this because it's a role that I'm playing. And even though this is fun to play sometimes, you know, oh, I'm a sister, I'm a brother. 
these roles come with obligations. They come with expectations that go against some of your desires and have been for some time. Okay. So we have all tied up. All right. Making decisions for yourself, sorting through, am I making this decision for me or am I making this decision for the approval of others or because of what others are going to think? the opinions of others, okay? With the five of swords here, there's a lot of internal conflict, which means that your mind is kind of going, all right? And with judgment, I'm hearing it's time. Some of you may feel like there are not very many options for you, but I'm hearing that the universe is creating these options as you, as you choose your path, the options will be revealed. Okay, so why is all tied up here? So July, energy, we have caring connections, we have indecision, all right? Something about going this way or that way. We'll see what that's about. Let's get this way for the indecision. Okay, we have the star card, and then we have the sun in reverse at the very bottom of the deck. So one side of the spectrum is your happiness, your joy. Is this, am I doing this because it makes me happy? I'm excited, I'm exhilarated when I'm doing this. Okay, we have Aquarius energy here, and we also have the star card here, all right? So you are coming up as a star. This is your energy. One area is wanting to live your dreams, wanting to put your wishes out into the universe and have them come true. This is your light side. This is your higher self, okay? You're coming up as the star. You're coming up as someone who inspires people around you because of your beliefs, because of your hope because of the things that you believe in, okay? Some people do not have as much tenacity to believe as you do. And so because of that, you do tend to give off a star-like aura around you. Now, the other side is interesting because we have the King of Swords here, which is about logic, analytics, um, communication, intellectual. So we have one side where you are planning things out, right? With the indecision in July, you're going to see two different paths. And, and I feel like this is why 777 is such a big deal because it's almost like you're getting ready to see the life that you are here to live. But you're going to see yourself in it as the character, as the main character. That's what this whole year was about, 2023, being that main character energy. And on the other side, we have you trying to control, trying to plan it out, trying to put this here and trying to reach out to this person and trying to make this happen. And with the Knight of Pentacles, that could possibly work out, but it will take a lifetime with the Knight of Pentacles to get to where you want to get to based on that energy. So let's see what the message is, okay? Let's get the star card, energy of the star Okay, we have justice, interesting. We have justice, equality, logic, okay, and blessing. So you walking in, and again, you guys have probably heard me say this a lot of times. You are a star. And what that means is that you are being guided by the light, all right? And you taking this path, has justice written all over it. It has a caring connection. It has a caring partnership, whether you're in one or not with the judgment card here. We can't avoid that. You are attracting more love into your life. And this is in the form of caring connections. But this life, this path that you're choosing is going to be bringing you justice because it's what you truly desire. It's what you truly admire to do. It's also going to be bringing in blessings. Let's look at the other side. All right, so this is the indecision, you letting it go, you accepting it, letting it go. We have wish, hope, and worship, okay? And then we also have the marionette, dictatorship, domination, reluctance. So this is spirit saying you have so many strings tied to you, all right? Whether it's obligations, expectations, roles that you have to play. I'm hearing remove the mask to be honest with yourself. Who are you? You're the star. All right. So even if you take this path, you're still going to find yourself hoping for more with the vow card here. And so 
with the dictatorship, it's like your mind is kind of controlling all of this, trying to control the outcome of everything, trying to control and figure out how to be successful, trying to calculate is the word that I'm getting, trying to be analytical, trying to analyze the situation and try to make it happen. That pathway is leading you towards a dictator pathway, which is not true to who you are because your mind would be the one in the driver's seat. Where you are going, you have never been before, so you will not be able to see it mentally. So I'm, I'm just sensing that there's a, a big ego death, a huge shift that is taking place in your life with you discovering who you truly are, your authentic self, this version of you. We have triumphed at the bottom of the deck, all right? So you're trying to work your way through all of this, these things that you've committed to, to these obligations, and it's making it very challenging for you to connect with your true authentic self. And you will have to ask yourself, even in the month of July, am I doing this because it aligns with me feeling good or am I doing this because I know if I don't X, Y, and Z. These are the little fine tuning factors that you're going to be experiencing in the month of July. Okay. There's a lot of severing beliefs, expanding beyond what you think you can achieve. We have friendship. Okay. So you have caring connections, friendships that are coming in because you are making room. So you are not having to sacrifice, you know, let go. You are simply placing people where they should go in your life and allowing the companionships that you really want, the connections, feeling deeply connected with someone, not just because of their role, not because of what they look like, not their role, how much money they have. It's solely based on a connection, which is obviously the most authentic connection that you can have. That's what you're attracting in the month of July. So definitely go back and watch that live if you guys haven't, because it's giving me that message the relatives were relatives but we don't relate so we have a lot of families a lot of dynamics trying to force things and the reason why they're not able to is because there's so many roles being played now understand that when you play a role we limit ourselves because then can can dad receive from his son or daughter because i'm dad you should listen to me right or we're siblings, so you should be there. And it's like, well, we don't really connect outside of that. So I don't really feel moved or connected to do so. So these are some of the complicated questions and situations you're going to find yourself in in the month of July with the Five of Swords. It is an inner conflict, and it's, it's not easy. It's not coming up as easy. Like this is something that you're used to is by saying no, by, by putting, placing boundaries where boundaries are necessary. A lot of people have been benefiting from you not having boundaries. Okay. So the indecision is, am I ready to leave my old life behind? And it's really my old self. The life belongs to your old self. Am I ready to leave my old self behind? And what's attached to my old self is old friends, old viewpoints of me, old perspectives of me, old doubts, obligations that I no longer resonate with, that I've now outgrown. This is what you're saying in the month of July. You're a star, you're meant to succeed, and that's what you're being led towards, successful relationships, succeed in being at peace, succeed in and just feeling good, okay? It's not just a practical success. So we have two different paths and then, and then also the other path of you just trying to figure it out. Anytime you think that you're going into let me figure this out, this is literally your ego telling on itself, okay? Eight of pentacles. So let's see what else is happening in the month of July. Thank you. Trust your path, this also came up on the live. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If you knew you were 100% supported, what would you do? And again, some of you are going to really have to be honest with yourself. 
because you're not living like you're being 100% supported. You're waiting to see a tangible um, sense of support before you move towards your path. And again, trust your path. This is what's happening in the month of July. A path is being presented once again for you to choose another version of you. And Spirit is saying, may it be the most authentic version of you so you don't have to choose again. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. So I see a lot of movement towards things that make you happy, maybe trying new things that would bring you emotional satisfaction, emotional fulfillment, going towards them, really taking action. All right, there's going to be something that happens in the month of July that really inspires you to now act on it. Some of you are talking about your inspirations. I want to do this and I want to do that. Pick one that feels closest to you. What I mean by closest is closest to obtainability. And you have to be honest with yourself here. Some things feel further apart in vibration. All right, because we put this bigness around it, like, one billion versus ten dollars which feels closer to you okay so what feels closer to you is what you're going to be thinking about in july with the knight of of cups knight of wands and knight of cups is what feels closest to you that you really desire to do to experience with passion this could be a person this could be a place this could be a project let's get a clue on what this could be for the knight of cups Thank you. Homeless. Okay. Fate and withdrawal. So let's go ahead and get why homeless is here. Cast away. Okay. This homelessness is, is moving away from home and family and friendships to really see where you're fated to be, see where you feel you belong. There's an excursion. There's an excitement for an excursion in the month of July. It could be a destination, traveling. It's fated, but what we have here is castaway. So what I'm getting here is that you are moving toward away from what no longer is resonating with you, whether that's people, career, a project, relationships, all right? And you may feel a sense of withdrawal. You may feel a sense of rejection. You may feel like you you don't fit in. You're not really clicking with anyone. You're not really resonating in this energy anymore because you're victorious. So it's in it's it's like we have the old version of you and the new version of you. And this is the inner conflict. The new version wants to come through, but it's really requiring you to let go of all of these commitments and attachments and strings that you have, including the way that you're thinking or believing things should work out or have to work out, right? So this, what is the purpose of this is to bring in more ease for you, to bring in more care, to bring in more patience and gentleness with you. Because the universe is like, I'm waiting for you to put in your order. So some of you in July, you're putting in your order, you're releasing it, and you're not trying to figure it out. This is where it will all start to come to you because now you are working with the universe. So some of you are going to feel like you're looking for home, you're seeking home, but this is a feeling. Where do I feel I belong? Where do I feel like I fit in a glove? And some of you, it's, there's a journey to be taken for you to discover this. Okay, some of you, you want to know and then you want to go there. That defeats the whole purpose of the journey. So I see you really acting towards moving, moving towards something that is meant for you. Let's see what's faded here. What's faded? We have blessing again at the bottom. This is all a blessing, okay? It's all a blessing that maybe you can't see. What is faded here? They're moving towards this in July, the Knight of Cups. Thank you, a lot of things. Okay, I'm hearing that you're protected. Okay, look at this, luck. I cannot make this up, you guys, good news. Luck, good news. Five of pentacles. 
All right. Some of you, you may be looking at your reality in July, like what the hell is going on? And that is because once again, 777, July 7th, 2023. You guys can find that link if you guys want to save your seat. It is the luckiest day of the year. And again, I don't know when we'll have another 777. 777 is the number of luck, but it is also a fulfillment of creation, okay? So with this being said, good news and luck is on your side. Some of you could be worried about your finances, five of pentacles, all right? Let's go ahead and get a manifestation card and then we're gonna look at your guys' career, why that is. Five of pentacles is the lack card. Some of you are worried or could be worried about where am I gonna live? Where am I gonna go? Understand your life can shift in a matter of overnight. So your reality is it's no longer your life. So just let it go is what I'm hearing. The, what you're being used to, your bank account, not always increasing every time you check it. Now you're going to be looking at your bank account, expecting it to be higher than it was the last time you checked. It's the new version of yourself. So that old bank account is irrelevant. That old life is irrelevant. The old friendships, it's irrelevant. It's like it was attached to your old version of you. We started this with the judgment card. This is very, very heavy spiritual awakening cards, okay, that are coming out. And it's for you to see the light in you, for you to see the light that you are here for friendships, triumph. It's faded, okay? So yes, people may see you as withdrawing from them, but you're actually going through an awakening to discover who you truly are, your authentic self, this version of you, all right, is JP Morgan. This version of you may seem like an ATM or a bank account to others. This, this new version of you is abundant, all right? So let's get this new version of you career, the career that you're going into. Just some clues here. Thank you. Okay, so you guys could be getting into the food industry. Be a life support system. Spring cleaning is always in season, even though it's not spring. Turn your cottage industry into a castle. So you, your next career is something that's gonna start small with a community of people or maybe a couple of supporters really encouraging you to do this specific thing. And it's going to become a household product or a household name is what I'm getting industry into a castle, okay? Some of you, you're really working towards creating and creation and cooking and different ingredients. And what I'm getting with the different ingredients is just creation. It's not just food, okay? So right now in the month of July, you could be going through a very inspiring time of trying different ingredients with different things. So if you're doing clothing or you really like clothing or you really like hair or you really like music you're getting into the different sounds you're getting into the different frequencies you're getting into the basics of what you enjoy you're starting to really pull apart okay i love this so much i want to learn more about this there's something that's being presented in july and it is going to be a life support system for you which means it's going to bring you longevity all right not just quick income so something is being revealed in the month of July for you to be open to a, a career shift, all right? This could even be on the side. So food, community, bringing people over, baking. So Martha Stewart, obviously, you guys could be getting into the food industry. You could be getting into the plant-based uh, industry. You could be getting into organics. You could be getting into natural products, real true natural products, not products that have chemicals, real true natural products okay some of you guys could be getting into that there's a lot of inspiration coming and i believe that the more you're releasing yourself from what feels restraining to you okay because again you're becoming this new version of yourself people around you will not recognize you they can only identify you from who you used to be they cannot see who you're becoming and if they can then that's confirmation that they're your soul tribe all right. If they can see you, if they can see that light within you, that is a caring connection. That's confirmation. All right. 1144 is something I'm getting as well. So with the one and the 14, heavy, 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 heavy um, soulmate vibes and manifesting 
connections into your life where you're actually connecting with them, okay? So you have good news coming in. You have luck coming in. Um, it's going to feel like a reward. It's going to feel like you hit the jackpot. There is a life that you're here to live, and it should feel like you hit the jackpot. That's how you know I, I've, I'm in my dream life now. I am now actively in the scene of my dream life when you feel like you've hit the jackpot. Okay, let's get another clue for career. Career change, practical changes. So I'm hearing right now you could probably have something to sell right now. You are never broke. You are never poor. You are never in lack. That is impossible. Literally, <laughs> spirit is like your kidneys are worth money. Your hair is worth money. Like you must never see yourself in which you are not because it's not true. And don't dwell in that space of what you are not. We have Bill Gates at the bottom, okay? Only see this version of you as you're becoming this version of you. See through the eyes of the new you. And anything that doesn't feel good, you have permission to let it go. And if I can't afford that, doesn't feel good, you have permission to let it go and allow the universe to deliver it, literally. You, you want it, you'll have it. I'm hearing um, Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. You want it, you got it. And you'll want something, release it by letting it go and say, I don't know how I'm going to obtain that, but I just know I already have that. I see myself in it. I already have that. Expect an extra bonus. Expect to sell extra products because of that one desire, okay? So... What else is happening here in your career shift? So I'm hearing you have already what you need to be abundant, okay? Look in your storehouse. What do you have to offer? Look within you. What do you have to offer? Are you seeing your value? In July, it's about that time for you to see your value. And what you have to offer is worth more than you think. Whatever you think it's worth, add it times 10 is what Spirit is saying. Whatever you think this work is worth, project, creation, idea. We have child Ponzi. Keep your conviction even when facing multiple. Got rich quick, leave town quicker. Don't get buried in the pyramid you build. Okay, so this is not about getting rich. This is, this is not about making money, okay? If you're just doing it for the money, I assure you, you will end up right in the same place because then you will get the money and you will stop doing that because you only did it for money. So some of you who are leaving your job, starting a business, this is, this is a very great, admirable thing for you to do as far as following your financial freedom. However, don't jump yourself into what sounds good as a business idea or collaborating or starting this business if you are not obsessively in love with business or whatever it is you're selling. Like in love to the point that you only want to talk about this, sell this, do this, be engulfed in this. That's why it's so important for you to know who you truly are. Because when it's true to you, how can you fail? Like when you talk, people will feel it. They'll just know, oh, this is for her. This is for him. Get to know yourself is what I'm getting in the month of July. Don't get yourself caught up in these getting rich or getting money really quickly or I'm going to start this business and sell this much. If you're already thinking that way, you're thinking in the terms of business. If you weren't making money, would you still do it? And if it's a no, it's okay. That just means that's not, a, that's not your desire. Whatever your desire is, there is success here. Let's get a clue on what that is. <laughs> Beyonce, of course, of course. Okay, so we have dancers, artists, poetry, music, healing is what I'm getting, all right? You guys could be into chakra, healing, meditation, spiritual work is what I'm picking up from this card, not just Beyonce being a singer or an artist. It says choreograph career moves only you can follow. Your public image is your private property. Brand your benevolence. So like I just said, your kidneys are worth money. You, your benevolence, your aura, your essence, your presence is worth money. People would pay for you to just come to this event. 
your public image is your private property. For some of you who are getting into content creation, it's not about creating content. It's about sharing your life. And from you sharing your life, content will be developed. If your life is not inspiring you or making you happy, chances are it won't be successful on your YouTube channel, which is why you have to be authentic to you. You have to be for the success to come. So your public image is your private property, meaning you own your brand. You are a brand. Your energy is worth more than any service you have to offer, but you must see that for yourself, okay? We also have a lot of sun energy. Obviously, we're going into Leo energy, a lot more confidence, a lot more feeling yourself, a lot more glow up, working out, taking care of yourself, enjoying the sun, getting into the sun, flowers, gardening, really just coming to life is what I'm feeling. In July, you are coming to life, literally. So in your career, you're not, you're getting into something, it's all about you. Like this, your energy, what you do, everything you touch, because you're, we have flowers a lot here. So some of you guys could be getting into being a florist or whatever it is that you enjoy doing. It's not too simple. It's not too big. Okay. So don't judge these projects and ideas that come in. The universe is helping you do that. Let's look at a little bit more at career and we're going to switch into your love life. Okay. Career, Charles, Martha, Beyonce. What do you have to say here? The high priestess, you already know, you already know what you enjoy and love to do. You already know. You're just worried about how you will either make money from it, how it's going to work out, how it's going to happen. Once again, you have no idea. You cannot even imagine. That's why we have good luck, good news coming in. We have a miracle. We have a surprise and we have encouragement coming through. The high priestess, this is what you're meant to do. All right. Pisces energy with the high priestess. You were meant to do this. You are meant to be a star. You are meant to shine. I say this often. Why is the high priestess here? Six of swords, but you can't be afraid to move forward. You can't be afraid of this new you. You can't be afraid of failing. This is the old version of you that's slowly being casted away. We have justice here. So it is going to work out. So I'm hearing whatever happens in July... Even if you think it's bad, it's good news. And that's because it's redirecting you towards what you truly desire. So if things are not working out, it's because the universe is literally making way or allowing the energy to pave the way for this new life that you have been asking for. You're just desiring more. So desiring more me means releasing what is no longer fulfilling okay even in your career life so your career life is meant to be guided through your intuition okay with the high priestess six of swords it's going to require you to move away from some of these beliefs that you have so you can be free to just create free to express yourself your expression is worth a lot of money is what i'm getting your expression how you express yourself is worth a lot because of your perspective, it's so different, it's so unique. It's time for you to see yourself, your true self. And I believe this is connected to your, your love life as well, it's connected to your career. So I see that, let's just get confirmation on why the Six of Swords is in reverse. This means that there's prolonging of the process, Page of Pentacles, yeah, you're not sure how the opportunities are gonna come, you're waiting for opportunities before you make the decision, but it's when you make these decisions in your spirit. Okay, you don't even have to say them out loud. In your spirit, you can say, I'm done, I quit, no more. In your spirit, you can say this. And then slowly, you'll start to feel the shift. And as time progresses, days go by of you holding this vibration of I'm done, you're gonna start seeing everything else in your life that you feel done with start to crumble because you can't lie to yourself. And the more honest you are with yourself, the more at harmony you will be with yourself is what I'm getting. All right, so you're being led to success. You are already successful, but it is truly your fears, page of pentacles, and the opportunities or how this is going to work out. And so what I'm getting is 
It is when you make the decision to take action towards the things that you love that you will see the opportunities. The universe is waiting for you to decide. That's what's happening in July. All right, love life. Okay, so huge, huge shifts. You have a very big energy, all right? Don't get caught up into things just because you think you're gonna make money. Okay, I didn't wanna say it, but I, I see that it had to come out here. All right, twin flames. That was the, the first thing I was gonna say, but you know, a lot of people are talking about twin flames. I just spoke about this on my live. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than meeting your twin flame, all right? It is very, very rare that someone actually has a twin flame. All right. I believe that if you are with your twin flame, there is no more karmic energy to be done, which is why they are your twin flame. I also have been inspired to release a meet your twin flame reading. So there's 111 of those. I don't know how many now. There's like less than 50 now on the tarotchest.com. If you guys really believe you have a twin flame, once again, only if you truly believe you have a twin flame, that reading is for you. And you guys can find that also down below. So I marinated for three days on that message before I even put that reading out, all right? So each deck has a whole hour of me connecting with your true twin flame, and it will tell you if you're with your twin flame or not. And once again, your twin flame, you are here. Some of you are here to meet your twin flame. And the twin flames are for the chosen ones. They are mirrors to your highest version of you, which you are still even embracing, okay? You'll find yourself within this person, all right? So if you've yet to embrace your true authentic self, chances are you have not met your twin flame. Unless, of course, it is in 5D or, is it, or it's in your intuition or your gut that you know who this person is. But your twin flame is the twin to your flame, which means your flame must be lit. Your flame is your light. Twin flames are for light workers. Twin flames are for earth angels. They are for the purpose of the world. Your love inspires and heals the world. It is the purpose of your union. Now, if you're with another person and they're irritating you and they're doing this and it's not your twin flame. And sometimes it is not fun to bring these messages, but it's, it's to lead you to the truth, to lead you to your twin flame because you actually desire to meet your twin flame. And even if you stay in a relationship and they're not your twin flame and you stay for 10 years, in your gut, you're still gonna desire to meet your true twin flame. Okay, so with the judgment card here, we have two skeletons getting married, uh, carrying connections. You are being prompt and prepared to meet your twin flame. Some of you wouldn't be ready tomorrow if you met your twin flame, but you think you are. Are you all that you can be for you? Are you in love with you without this person? Are you complete? Are you living your dreams? And you just wanna simply share it. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. So this is the answer for some of you who are dealing with situationships or you're not sure. If you're not sure, if you're confused, that is your answer. Your twin flame, there's no confusion. And some of you may not desire to meet your twin flame because again, this is for the purpose of inspiring the world. But at the very minimum, you will have a very connected, deep soul level. It's not that one is better than the other, it's just it's like Martin Luther King Jr. and just someone who wants to just be a, a person who goes to home, home with their kids. They live in the house. They have a family. They're married. And it's so beautiful. It's like Martin Luther King Jr., if he were to meet his twin flame, that's two of him on this planet. Imagine, like, that is not just love. That is that is like igniting a whole planet. So I really have to be clear on what a twin flame is because I'm not seeing even a handful of them because you really, really have to be operating in a high frequency to, for the universe to then duplicate you. And then the purpose of your union is inspiring the others. So this is why we call them twin flames. There's two of them. Now imagine someone looking at you and they're like, you're on fire. 
you're living your life, you're happy, you're in joy, you're inspiring others. Because once again, if you're attracting a twin flame, you're just, you're a star. It, it is what it is, right? It is, it is the only frequency and the only match on this planet that could even match your vibration because you're operating in such a high frequency, which is why I say it is for the chosen few, the chosen few, because you choose a life that is a service to the world. And then your love for each other, that person has that same vision and the same desire to serve the world. Some of y'all are in relationships and the other person really could care less about the world or some of the connections you've been in. And that's because you are an earth angel. You are here on earth and you carry the light. The light is hope. The light is joy. The light is truth. The light is peace. You are here to be those things and just exist. And then someone will say, oh, there goes an angel. But your twin, <laughs> confirmation, your twin will say, oh, there goes my angel. It's, 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 a, it's a different type of connection, okay? This is a soul level connection. So if people are being moved out your way, just know someone is waiting for you. Okay, that's a deep, deep com committed relationship in the spirit. What, do you, what is marriage when you're connected at the soul? <laughs> what is marriage? Okay, so I'm hearing patience, patience with yourself. As this new version of you is unraveling, enjoy this new version of you. You deserve to share your life with your new self more than a partner does. And if you're in a relationship, those of you who are, you're gonna feel a, a really a big requirement for space, space and time. And this is gonna tell you because they should be doing the same thing, evolving. When two people are not evolving, that's how the relationship outgrows itself. And if you're here, you're an earth angel, you will outgrow many people. Because you're looking, you're searching, you're seeking, you're on this discovery and you're, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm learning this and the universe does this and this is so amazing. Keep up. So your twin, there is, you're flying together. Jasmine and Aladdin, you're flying together. <laughs> like you're flying together. It's easy. It's natural. It's not toxic. It's not toxic. Okay. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not meant to be hard. Love isn't hard. Is it hard to eat your favorite food? Is that hard to do? No, love is not hard. It's easy. It's effortless. And with your twin, it is like dating your highest version of you. When I say highest, it is just simply the most authentic, all exciting being that you could imagine for yourself. And even then, you can't imagine how great you are. So... In July, there's a bit of a fear here moving forward in a career that you don't know if it's going to be practically sustainable. This is where you're being asked to rely on your higher self and the high priestess and the universe I'm hearing specifically is going to send you the right videos. So just put a video on and hit shuffle and let the universe decide what you're going to watch. Because if you're looking in to real estate, for instance, the universe will give you the perfect video as to what you need. And you're like, wow, I, I really needed to see this. Let the universe play this magical game with you, all right? And see that you're not here alone. This is why I'm not doing pick of cards because these readings are for the enlightened few. It is so deep, these readings, okay? You have no idea how enlightening this is. All right, anything else in their love life? We have twin flames here, okay? Ace of Wands. So we have a new passionate beginning for you in love that is coming through in July. I see that obviously this is love for yourself too, but look at the colors on the board, okay? We have Beyonce here and we have Ace of Wands. So your creative adventure, your creative endeavor is also aligned with your life partner is what I'll say. Twin flame, if you feel you have one, life partner otherwise. The ace of wands is a very passionate new beginning, something that is going to drive you with excitement, all right? This isn't gonna be a complicated endeavor. 
I see a very passionate new beginning in your love life. Let's see if anyone shows up, a page, a knight, a king, or a queen. Thank you. Okay, no, I don't see in July it may be time. What is it that they're doing in July in their love life? We have the three of swords. You're releasing, you're letting go, you're accepting, you're loving yourself. Okay, five of wands. There's a bit of a conflict here in love. What is this coming from? All right, we have a person here now, queen of cups. Okay, water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all right? So I see you guys could have conflict with just releasing. It could be an intimate person. It could be someone who's a friend around you. It could be even a parent, someone really close that you feel emotionally connected to that maybe it's just bringing you conflict. You, you're not sure why it's bringing you conflict, um, but you know that there has to be some type of distance here is what I'm getting because we do have the Queen of Cups. I'm sensing also for those of you who are not dealing, regardless, there's conflict here in your connections. Five of wands, too many cooks in the kitchen, too many people that have to, to say something. If they do not align with this new version of you, that is your answer. So be aware of what the universe is showing you when it comes to your friendships and the energy around you. Pay attention to how you feel. And even in your love life, we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. So you already know the answer, and I see that you are making a decision in the month of July in your love life to not settle for less than something that's passionate, connecting with your soul, that is fulfilling, not just to you, but to others, all right? It's a two-way street is what I'm getting as well with the Queen of Cups here. Very intuitive. You're a very intuitive person, and even if you have people who are around you who are intuitive, that doesn't mean they're your soul tribe, okay? This one could be a tricky one because you feel like maybe you have the same gifts or whatever, but if you're not connecting and you're not feeling good, right? You're not connecting, you're not feeling good, like you will feel when someone cares, okay? They will ask you questions. They will be interested in getting to know how you feel, truly, not just asking how do you feel and then, Oh, okay, well, yeah, so with me, and they get right to them, all right? So I'm also seeing that you deserve relationships and connections to where you don't have to save people, help people, coach people for them to be there. Your friendships are you, all right? So, so there's a huge shift going on in your root chakra, your base chakra, red, Okay, red is what I'm getting. So a lot of firm founding on your connections. What is this based on? Is this based on a role or is this based on the soul? Because you desire to feel connected and July is really, really showing you that whatever you're doing in your career, if you're not connected to that and the people, if you're not connected to that, there is a shift so that you can begin to ease in and feel good or better about that. So anything else in love? For July, okay, the energy for love. I see that you're really just focused, could be focused on career, could be very focused on yourself, all right, because you're shining, you're glowing, all right? We have the Page of Cups, and we have the Nine of Wands. So I see that right now, even with the broken heart at the very bottom, hostilities in reverse, you're just clearing away anything that is complicated. If it's complicated, it's unnecessary. It shouldn't be complicated. Love isn't complicated. Peace isn't complicated. Freedom isn't complicated. So it's almost like you're having to make these decisions, nine of wands. It's really, some of these people are pulling on your energy and I'm just seeing you really bringing back your energy, even with the page of cups here. There is something going on in July, okay? It could be a situationship, could be a flirtationship, could be a crush, something. I'm just letting you know, many people are gonna be drawn to your light. Many people will think you're their person. Many people will think you're their soulmate, but that's because you're meant to meet so many soulmates in this lifetime. But I'm also hearing understanding where to place people because it might feel like a strong connection, but there's no romantic or intimate desire there, which means that's probably your brother or your sister but some of us are not able to 
benefit from those connections because we jump into it in a romantic sense, not realizing, oh, we're just emotionally connected here. And, and that's just it. So I'm, I'm seeing that there's a lot of awareness coming through. Your third eye is really open in the month of July. All right. When it comes to the people around you, the energy around you, clearing out anything that is just not easy, not effortless. Okay. Because if it's good, it's God. If it feels good, then it's God. And this isn't feeling good. And some of you don't know why it's not feeling good. So you keep doing it until you understand why. And it's like, just don't do it. It'll be revealed to you later. So you really have to choose yourself in July. Okay. So you do have a twin flame. If you are here, definitely check out that reading. If you guys are looking to get a reading, definitely check that out down below. Also, let's get this last message for your manifestation cards for the month of July. Thank you. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. So this is what I was saying about your path, right? Is to just let go and allow the universe in, okay? A little bit at a time. And this is why we have patience or we had patience popping through earlier because really being patient with you surrendering. We're talking about surrendering to something you cannot see, you can only feel intuitively, and some of you may already have trust issues with people, let alone entities you can't see. Okay, so this requires a set of faith in the sense of letting go, letting go to something higher so that you can be shown what it is that you're going towards. And some of you want to know why. And I see that this is going to be revealed after you make your decision. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself, okay? So the universe is working in your behalf on July to move people around, to get your application to be the first one seen, to get your audition to be the first one seen, to get your artwork seen by thousands of people on TikTok, whatever it is, the universe is working with you. And you will know when you you take your plug, which is yourself, and you plug into source, the universe, you will know when it's going to be successful because you feel it right when you connect with an idea or a place or, oh, I would really love to go there. That's you connecting with the universe. And the universe is like, yes. And you feel it. Now, if you could just go towards that before your fears and doubts and disbelief starts coming in. All right, so last card for manifestation for July, what can they expect? I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. What did I say? The universe is gonna show you and show up in July, all right? The universe is saying you are almost there and almost there means you're almost free. From your old version of you, the one that doubted you, the one who has problems disbelieving, the one who's afraid to jump, the one who's afraid to be loved, the one who does things out of obligation, all of these commitments, release, I'm releasing, I'm releasing, I'm releasing, calling back my power is what you're doing. You're saying I'm calling my power back here, calling my energy back here, calling my energy back here, and bring it to yourself. Okay, you're going to receive a lot of good luck charms in the month of July. So if I don't see you guys for the 777, I will definitely see you in the next video, whatever that may be, or catch me on a live. Don't forget to subscribe. But the overall message here is that you deserve what you're asking for. And truly what you're asking for is you in another person, which is someone who is compassionate someone who is truthful, honest, has depth, who's connected to the spiritual sense of things, which is being free, being authentic, being close to nature, being close to the truth, feeling the presence of, of the universe, going on this discovery and this journey together. So you deserve what you're asking for and what you're asking for is here. All you're doing is preparing to receive it and make, in, make room for the new. 
is what I'm getting. Make room for the new connections. Make room for the new you. Make room for the new you. The new you is here, thriving and ready to shine, ready to break out of this small, limited version of yourself, ready to break free, is already free in the spiritual realm and is showing you what that looks like through your imagination. This is real, and it's really dope to be connected with you guys here. Until the next time, I'll see you guys soon. I hope this brings you light and clarity for the month of July and how the universe is connecting with you and what you can expect for the month of July. In the meantime, I'm out. Love and light.